What's going on everyone and welcome back to our all women run of Eternum. Before we begin for today, hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, link in the description below to my Patreon if you want to give that a look. Let's get back into the story. <music> Well, I should get going. The competition's about to start, and Dahlia will be happy to see me there. Or so I hope. A few minutes later. Hi, Millie. Uh, sure. Oh, I thought... Is Millie here? I came for the competition. <laughs> okay, I don't think we'll get anywhere like this. You said that Millie's upstairs. What? You speak Russian now? No, but Millie is upstairs in the fitness room. So I'm guessing that's what he said. Did you come to participate in the competition? Nah, I just came to see Dahlia. Oh, so you can come and see her, but I can't? Interesting. I wanted to stay too, but she begged me to go home because she said she'd get nervous. Looks like she's playing favorites. That's not fair. I guess that I'm just too persuasive. That must be it. But well, I have a busy afternoon, so I probably shouldn't have stayed anyway. Thank God tomorrow's Friday. Yeah, it's been a crazy week. I haven't been able to play a tournament since the heist. Well, if it's any consolation, then you're by. It's Saturday, I need to log in no matter what though. Ah yes, the Ulysses dinner, right? Yep, I'll tell you all about it after I finish. Can't wait. I'll probably go to Semper Invicta while you're there. I have an empire to rule, you know? <laughs> True. And we still have a yoga class pending, right? That's a good boy. I haven't forgotten. Don't worry. I hope you can keep up with you this time. Come on, Nan. I have to show you my hubby's new company car. Don't even ask how much it costs. Okay, I won't. <laughs> More than 50000 Uh, well, see you later. Oh, hi, Dahlia. I'll borrow your, borrow your mom for a while. Don't you? You don't mind, do you? <laughs> Just. Yeah, sure. I don't mind. Bye, mommy. Uh, I'll see you at home. <laughs> Sorry for the uh, stumbling a bit there. Jesus, Nancy's flirting is out of control. So many people living under the same roof. It'll be hard to find some time alone. Oh boy, when we do. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'll go upstairs. Thank you. Okay. Now, where's Dahlia? Hey, buddy. Hey, there's Chang the Heistmeister. It's been a while already. I still can't believe everything went as you predicted. Obviously. What do you expect from Chang the Brain? I should have expected none, nothing less, I guess. That's a nice shirt you got there, by the way. Right? I see him you came to cheer on Michaela. You're goddamn right. I. Hey guys! Are you working, Cheng? Working? Ah, oh no, no. I just finished my shift and I thought I'd stay to. Oh my god. Did you really order that shirt? I thought it was a joke. Oh, this? It's nothing. I have one with a Ryan's face too. You do? Uh, I mean, yeah, he does. <laughs> Classic Chang. Still, it's a bit embarrassing. Oh, I can take it off. Oh, I mean, don't worry. It's okay, I guess. Okay, everyone. Let's start with the weightlifting finals. Hey, Millie. Have you seen Dahlia? She said she's going to drink some water 10 minutes ago, and she hasn't returned since. I was waiting for her, but after the weightlifting competition, we still have to do seven other categories. I can't put it off anymore. Oh, really? That's weird. Maybe something happened to her? I'll go look for her. Give us 10 more minutes, please. Um, okay, 10 minutes. That's it. Thanks. I'll be right back. Where the hell is she? She's been talking about this competition since I arrived to Credin. No way she went home. Oh, oh boy. I didn't recognize that ass anywhere. What on earth is she doing there? <laughs> Big ass sandwich. Stop! <laughs> My sandwich! What the hell, Dahlia? You can't gorge yourself before a competition. Just a little snack. I, I'm carbo-loading. That sandwich is the size of my head. 
If you eat so much, you'll feel bloated during the competition later. I know, I know. But I was nervous. When I'm stressed out, I eat. You're nervous? Why? I've taken part in this competition every fall for the last four years. I have never won first place in anything. That's because Michaela also participates. I'm sure she'd even win in the male categories if she could join them. Also, who cares if you don't win? I do. I I don't like losing. It makes me feel like that all the effort I put into this is worthless. I think this year I'm gonna stay out of it. You can't do that. Come on, let's go back. Everyone's waiting for you. Tell them to start without me. There are all these signs telling me not to compete today. What? What signs? Well, first off, this morning I put my clothes on inside out. I didn't even realize until Penelope told me in the kitchen. Then, I saw a black cat on my way here, and he even kept staring at me for a while, as if he was telling me to turn around. Finally, when I made it to the gym, the guy tripped by the entrance and spilled his protein shake all over me. I had to change my leggings. Universe is trying to tell me to go home. I didn't know you were so superstitious. I'm not, really. I guess I'm just using those things as excuses. It's just that... What's the point of participating if I already know I'm going to lose? Uh, no, we're going to convince her to participate. Those are all just coincidences. I literally wear my underwear inside out all the time. And I've seen that black cat in the alleyway so many times on the way to school. Plus, that guy that bumped into you, that was probably just a random accident. I don't read much, too much into it. I know this is important to you. You've been training all year. And if you go home now, you'll regret it. Trust me. What's the worst that can happen? Coming in second? big deal. So, we should go back to the competition? Just like that? Yep, you're strong, and you'll do great. You don't have to worry about anything. And hey, whatever happens, you still have the best ass in the gym. <laughs> if you say so. Just spitting facts. Thank you, Ryan. Ah, I didn't do anything. You're just overthinking this stuff. But alright, enough talking. Let's pump some iron. Hell yeah! But goddamn right, I'm strong. Nothing's gonna stop me. That's the Dahlia I know. To be honest, I don't know what happened to me. As he said, I was... <laughs> um... Looks like that can was a bit shaken. Universe isn't making it easy, huh? Are you okay? I'm fine. I'm feeling even stronger now. You can keep sending me signs, Universe. It won't stop me. Oh shit. Her sports bra is transparent when wet. It's stuck to her skin like honey. And man, her breasts are shaped beautifully. I'd almost forgotten. She doesn't even need a bra, really. Should I say something? Uh... Yes, tell her about it. Right? Yes, tell her about it. <laughs> um, before we go, you probably want to dry off a little bit. I can see your... Tits. Huh? Ah! Fuck! I knew this damn top was too cheap. For fuck's sakes, can anything else happen to me today? Do you have a change of clothes? I went in my locker, but I guess I'll have to shower at home. I'm not gonna put my sweaty clothes back on. Are you going to get changed then? Of course I am. Nothing's gonna stop me. Do you hear me, universe? Fuck you! Okay, hurry up. I'll go back to Millie and try to convince her to wait a couple more minutes. Okay. I go as fast as I can. Thank you, Ryan. See you up there. <clears throat> hey! Finally! Okay, we can start now. First competition will be the bench... Wait. She's not ready. Give us a couple more minutes, please. What? Not yet. We can't wait anymore, Ryan. There's two minutes, please. Two minutes. And we're starting with... With or without Dahlia. Thanks. Did she have any problems? Nah, she was just nervous. But she's feeling better already. Ah, that happens to all of us. I usually like to relax in a quiet place before something like this. Actually, she told me there's a private server in Eternum where only she has access. She should have probably gone there to calm the nerves. Are there private servers in Eternum? Yeah, it's pretty cool, right? It's like a private beach, and only you can access that server with the password she chose. That sounds awesome. And how does it work? Is it just a code or? Uh, we're going to keep it a secret. 
Yeah, something like that. I can't tell you. Sorry. She asked me to keep it a secret. Ah, no worries, man. Secrets are meant to be kept. I don't even have a neural implant anyway. We've got to get you one. Trust me, it has. <laughs> Busting in. There she is. She's hissed. <laughs> Look at the different physique of these two. Holy crap. <laughs> oh god, scary face. <clears throat> okay, guys, we're finally ready to start. As always, we have six finalists selected on the basis of personal records. Let's start with the cardio. Hey, Millie, I'm going to pass, so don't count me in. What? Why? Have you seen that girl? Her arms are bigger than my torso. But the important thing is taking put Bullshit. I know you always post results on social media. I don't come here so people can laugh at me. Thank you very much. Well, okay then. We have five finalists. Let the competition begin. You've got Michaela. Show them what you got, Dahlia. 50 burpees, 50 pistols, and 50 sit-ups. Time starts now. Get him, Dahlia. Get him! Oh, about to click. Okay. <clears throat> Just because Michaela's strong doesn't she know when the cardio part. I definitely have not seen this before. So whatever I did the first time did not get me this. <laughs> definitely have not seen this before. <laughs> what jiggle? Mm, crap, look at her go. Damn Dahlia. <clears throat> She's a beast. Michaela wins this round. Michaela wins! Another medal for Michaela! Michaela sets a new record! Michaela! <laughs> of course. Ugh. Fuck, I can't. I can't lose another pound. She's too strong. Well played, Dahlia. You've improved a lot over the last year. I'm impressed. You too, Michaela. Congratulations on the victory. I can only lift 20 more pounds than you during the squats competition. That's insane! I'll have to train harder if I want to keep up with your progress. The only thing that counts is that you won and I lost every trial. 20 pounds, 50 pounds, who cares? That doesn't matter. It matters when you consider that I weigh like 130 pounds more than you. I'll admit that I've always been jealous of how you can be so strong while keeping such a slender body. You don't know how lucky you are. Let me say so. Well, I'll get cleaned up. See you later, Dahlia. Later. There you are. I was looking for you. Holy fucking shit. Did you really squat 350 pounds? You're a monster. Okay. Huh? What's with the long face? You did amazing. Millie said you even beat your personal best. Is that right? I don't know. Maybe. I wasn't paying attention. Why are you so sad? Did you strain something? Don't patronize me. I'm a fucking loser. You know it. What? Are you kidding me? You lifted more than any man in the gym. I've been training every single day during the last year just to try to win a single medal. And in the end, I didn't win anything. Like always. Come on. Who cares about those shitty medals? It's not even real gold. And you say that as if you're the only one without one. I didn't win a medal. Kai and Nikolai didn't win a medal. That woman didn't win a medal. Chang didn't win... Why do you have a medal? Oh, this? I won it in the air guitar competition. The, what? Since when is there an air guitar competition? I started teaching that class when I began working here last week. Thursday is 7 p.m. Air guitar with Chang Nazar. Um... Okay, forget about Chang. What I'm trying to say is that you did great today. If Akil wasn't here, you'd have won every single trial. Whatever. Okay, Delia, for your last trial. Get ready. The MMA fight? I think I'm gonna pass. Michaela has humiliated me enough in front of everyone today. Ah, your opponent isn't Michaela. What? She's not? Nope. The MMA tournament was categorized by weight, 
and none of the participants were in Michaela's weight range, so she couldn't participate. Then, who's my opponent? Let me check. Someone named Brock. Ah, yeah, I remember him. It's that guy who's always in the steam room. A guy? Yeah, but he weighs about the same as you. Here at Pump It, we are committed to diversity, inclusion, and gender equality. Oh, yeah, I think I remember seeing him in spinning class. He talks a big game, but I've never seen him do anything noteworthy. He qualified for the finals by a whisker. My money's on you. Did you hear that? The final isn't against Michaela. You can win this one. I can win this one. Hell yeah! I'll destroy this Brock, dude. To the octagon! Well, we don't really have an octagon. We use the boxing room, so... The fighting arena is more like a square. We don't have any professional equipment here. To the square! Actually, it's called a boxing ring. To the ring, then! <laughs> Technicality. Yeah! Wow, did you see that? He's so fast! I call this the Crested Crane Pose. Oh, this guy is such a... He's so good! I taught him that. Oh, Kai, of course. Sodging her shoulders. Okay, that was pretty damn high kick. But there's no need to be scared, Dahlia. I'm not scared. Well, you know what I mean. Scared, nervous, whatever it is that's making you shake. I'm not shaking either. Are you trying to get on my nerves? That's the spirit. Channel that anger into your opponent. I can kick that thing too. Good. Then you should start with the high kick. His own signature move. We'll have the element of surprise in our favor. He won't see it coming. Alright guys, let's end this last day competition with a bang. The last medal of this year is at stake. Credin's bantamweight title is decided. Now! Bantamweight, wow. This guy is light. On my left, weighing in at 131 pounds. God, he's a toothpick. Brock Doman. And on my right, weighing in at 125 pounds. Dahlia Carter. Let's go, Dahlia. Kick his ass. I was starting to think you wouldn't come, Dahlia. In your dreams. <laughs> I heard you didn't even win a single medal in the fitness trials. Isn't that kind of lame? I wonder what the hell you're doing up there every day. Taking pictures of your ass to post on Instagram, I bet. Shut the fuck up. I don't know about you, but I only came here to train. <laughs> and yet you didn't manage to win anything. That's even sadder. Well, at least you're experienced at losing, and their defeat won't make much of a difference. Maybe you convince them to give you a consolation prize as the biggest loser. Can't wait to kick in that ugly face of yours. And the fight starts now! Come on, Dahlia. Kill him! <laughs> the Russian guy. Destroy her! Yeah! Yeah, it's like right in the neck. <laughs> um. Brock? You dead? Well, I guess Delia won the fight! Congratulations! What? I, I won? Yeah! I won! Ryan, I won! I won! Did you see that? You bet I did! Holy shit, what a kick! You were so fast! Oh, Jesus. Did you notice how I took the same stance we used in the tournament before the kick? Did you? Hell yeah! I don't know any girl who can kick ass like you. Congrats, Dahlia. I know it probably doesn't mean shit to you, but I'm really proud of you. Ooh. Whoa. Where did that come from? Um, yeah. Damn. She's been exercising and sweating for the past two hours. How the hell could she still smell so good? Wow. That was... <laughs> I just realized what she did. I uh, didn't know you were dating. What? <laughs> we're not. We're totally not. Why did you even say that? This is just a misunderstanding. What do you mean? Why didn't you tell me, Orion? I already knew. Her mom told me. I'm the greatest confidant. Fucking Kai. You two make a great couple. We're not dating. We're just old friends. And don't tell my mom. But you kissed him. What? That stupid kiss? Just my way of celebrating a victory. It doesn't mean anything. Really? Yeah, I kiss everyone when I win. Just happened that Orion was the first one I saw. It could have been anyone. Look. 
<laughs> it's per guy. <laughs> Come on. Fuck, I can't do it. Uh, actually, I'm feeling a slight tingle in my throat. <laughs> Maybe it's best if I don't kiss anyone else. Ahem. Attention, please. Can you read that again, Millie? Say it loudly so everyone can hear you. Um, it says here that strikes to the throat of any kind are expressly forbidden. What? That means that, since Dahlia knocked out her opponent with an illegal hit, her victory is invalid and she is disqualified. What? I didn't win then? I'm sorry, Dahlia. I've got to give the medal to Brock. You can't be serious. That's so unfair. Congrats, Brock. Thank you. Thank you. I'll be honest, I never doubted that I'd win this competition. The road to the finals is difficult. I was experiencing a, expecting a tougher opponent in the last trial, but oh well, it is what it is. Look on the bright side, Dahlia. At least you can spend another year without having to worry about where to put your medals. Oof. Can you believe that you didn't even know the rules? What a bimbo. Oof. Big ass, tiny brains. Am I right? Yeah. If this were like real life, his ass would already be knocked out. <laughs> I'll tell you right now. Ryan, I won, I won. Did you see it? Moi, moi. Oof. Oh my god. Is she crying? Come on, don't be sad, you little girl. Do you want a lollipop, Lalia? Dahlia? Oh god. <laughs> Sorry you can't talk today. I'm sure it'll make you feel better. Seriously, just grow up. Oof. Hmm. Hell yeah! Yeah, that's not cool, man. Oof. Did you notice how I took the same stance using the Eternum? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Did you see it? Did you see it? What the fuck is wrong with you, dude? What do you want? Are you honestly happy winning like this? She kicked your ass up there. You couldn't even stand up. How can you be so cocky after such a lame victory? If we even call it that. I'm the lane one? Go tell that to that crybaby girlfriend of yours. I had to put up with her acting all tough throughout the year, as if she was better than me. What gives her that right? She's just a loser. Serves her right. Whatever you say, man, but she beat you. You're pathetic. Everyone in this room is stronger than you. Oh, please. Are you including yourself in that statement? Because you couldn't even hit me if I was blindfolded and tied in front of you. Of course I could. I have the reflexes of a feral cat. You'd never be able to touch me, I can assure you. <laughs> Come on, try to hit me, big man. Right here. I bet you. <laughs> what the f- Oh my god! Oh shit, I didn't want to hit him so hard. Holy fuck, that was amazing! How'd you move so fast? Did you see that punch? Wow! He sent him flying like a rag doll. He's an impression guy. What the fuck, Orion? Now he's gonna sue us. Okay, okay, calm down, everyone. Who are you? Cheng Wang, lawyer and manager of Mr. Richards. I'm afraid you're overwhelming my client. All compliance and contract proposals must go through me first. Chang? No worries, buddy. I've got this covered. You should go after Dahlia. She seemed pretty shaken up. Thanks, man. You're the best. I owe you one. Anytime, bro. Fucking Chang. Me need a Ryan Saturday and pinch. He fight. Many money and women. Let's discuss this in my office. That was hard to read. Chang's right. I should go after Dahlia. Although, knowing Dahlia, maybe she prefers to be alone right now. But, on the other hand, maybe she appreciates some company. She was so happy when she thought she'd won. I mean, she even kissed me in the middle of our of her euphoria. Hmm. Obviously, we're going to go after her. <clears throat> Wonder where she is. Maybe she's at home or to the park. Or... Yeah, that's new too. We're finally getting to that part of the game where it's all new. Thank God. <laughs> now all this new stuff. Love it. A few hours later. Yep. I haven't seen this before. Ooh, that looks nice. Today, the sea is very calm. I wish it was always like this. It almost looks like a pool. 
<sighs> Empathetic. Do you know that sex is a death sentence for octopuses? After the mating is done, it's game over for both of them. The male wanders off to die, and the female guards her eggs so obsessively she even stops eating. When the eggs hatch, her body undergoes a cascade of sailor suicide until she dies as well. Quite a sad fate, huh? Nature sure can be cruel. <laughs> Such a random fact. How did you know where I would be? Well, you told me yourself that you liked to come here when you wanted to relax or be alone. I assumed I'd find you here. I told you the password. You said that you wouldn't come here without asking for my permission first. That's true. Guilty as charged. I just thought that after what happened, you like to have some company. I don't want to talk about it. No one's forcing you to. I was just telling you some awesome trivia about the fascinating world of octopuses. Technically, it was you who interrupted me and my fun facts. <laughs> True, I'm sorry. Please continue and enlighten me. Thank you. You see, although it's commonly said that they have eight legs, in fact, they have six arms and two legs. If they are desperately hungry, they can eat their own arms, which will grow again after some time. They have three hearts, and their blood is blue. Oh, so they're true blue royalty, huh? Exactly. Not to mention, they're also said to be the most intelligent animal of all invertebrates. It said if octopuses had longer lifespans, they would be the dominant species in the world. Ow, that's scary. Right? You better be on watch. You never know when they could attack. Plus, you ever see all that tentacle porn online? That shit's not something to mess around with. <laughs> How do you know all this stuff? I always like the sea and marine life. Do you remember when we went to the aquarium? When we were like seven? I do. Mom took us there for my birthday. I remember seeing the sharks and thinking, one day I'll have my own boat. I'll navigate the seven seas and discover all the sea monsters that are hiding across the world. I'm Dahlia, the explorer. How do you remember that? I thought you said you barely remembered your time at Credin. I was playing with Penny and Luna the other day, and we used a device that dug up some old... Oh, the one I didn't see. Yes, there was a comment on one of the other videos um, saying to rewatch his as well. Um, I do... I don't remember which one I watched in my original playthrough, but... Uh, Yes, yeah, so I have to actually go back and watch that. So maybe, since we're getting near the end of this video anyways, um, I'm going to add that clip onto the end of this one so you can also rewatch that scene as an extra bonus. I was, play I was playing with Penny and Luna the other day. We used a device that dug up some old memories. <laughs> it's hard to forget your Delia the Explorer phase. You kept repeating it all the time. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. I miss those carefree days when my only concern was what mom would give us for dinner. <laughs> it had been up to me. I'd have only eaten candy and potato chips all day. I think that's changed. Yeah. Let <clears throat> go, Ryan. Appreciate you coming here. I really do. But you can go now. Don't worry about me. I mean, I know what you're thinking. This drama queen is overreacting to a stupid competition that has zero real world value. If she had any real problems during her lifetime, she wouldn't be crying over something so trivial. What a spoiled little girl. Wow. Everything you just said was wrong. And he just copied Luke Skywalker. <laughs> I wasn't thinking that at all. I thought you knew me better than that, Dahlia. That competition was important to you. That's all that matters. I've been hearing you waking up at 5 a.m. every morning to train. I've seen your folders full of different gym programs. I've even seen your sneaker soles get completely worn down and reduced to shreds from overuse. No one likes to lose. After so much effort, I'd be pissed too. It's totally normal. It's... It's not even about the damn competition. It's just that being good at sports is the only thing I have. I'm not funny. I'm not particularly clever or cunning like mom. I don't have penny supermodel tier looks. I don't have any talent for music or art. I'm average at everything. One thing I had was being the fit girl. 
And if I can't even get that right, then I'm nothing. Damn. I didn't know Dahlia was so insecure deep down. It hurts to see her like this. You're, you're unique and special, Dahlia. You don't even have to be the best at something to be somebody. Like I mean, almost average dude you'll ever see. I don't have any real talent, and yet, here I am. That's not true. You're a lot smarter than me. You got offered a full scholarship to participate in Credit Student Exchange Program. You started playing the tournament a few weeks ago, and you already managed to surpass me and learn a secret magic no one knows anything about. You're special. And I'm not. Let's just stop arguing about it and accept it. Acknowledging and accepting it are the first steps to... Okay. That's enough. What are you doing? You're done talking nonsense for today. You're amazing, Dahlia. Everything about you is amazing. And we're not leaving this beach until you accept it. Okay, okay. No, not okay. I want you to say it out loud. I'm amazing. Oh, come on, what are we, five? Don't make me do it. I don't know about you, but I could stay here all day. This pose is, pose is quite comfortable. You're kind of crushing my stomach. More reason to do what I say then. What the hell do you want? I'm amazing. Ugh. I'm amazing. Yes, you are. You're funny. You're generous and kind. You're the strongest girl I know. You're one of my favorite people to spend time with, and one of the sexiest women I've ever met. Your face looks beautiful at any time of the day, and you have an absolute killer body. Oh, and you're a pretty good kisser too. Shut up! <laughs> Don't remind me of that. Hey, it's true. And that is where we're going to leave it off for today. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. And the next one, we'll continue our story. Thanks for watching.